Y'all can say y'all have seen where the only atom, atom bomb fell in the United States is right here. It's grown up a lot and filled in a lot, but it's probably 40 to 50 feet across and what would you say, six or seven feet deep? We heard a loud boom. Daddy thought the jet had crashed, but actually a bomb had slipped out and he fell in the backyard. An atomic bomb breaks loose from a mounting shackle in a B-47 jet over Florence, South Carolina. Plummets to earth, causing a sensational freak accident. There was near disaster for those within range of the TNT, that is the bomb's trigger. Six were injured. The home of Walter Gregg was turned into a shambles. In the Gregg yard, the blast tore a 35-foot deep crater. When the bomb dropped, the earth shook and we just hit the ground. We didn't know we were doing the right thing, but we were. And I, Walter can tell you what happened to he and my father. He grabbed me up and kind of sheltered me under him and ran outside and uh, debris from the top of the shop in the garage falling in, cut him on his back and some on his side and all. But he got uh, us out of the garage and then went and rounded up the rest of the family. What had happened? On March 11, 1958, a B-47 takes off on a training flight with an atomic bomb on board. It's a routine flight, but the pilots are nervous. There's a problem. Bombay light on the dash came on, and they finally tapped and got it to go off. Well, when they got close to Florence, it came back on again. And that's when they sent the co-pilot or one of them from up front in the plane to go back and check it. Well, he slipped and fell, and they had a lever, and he hit it, and he's the one that jettisoned the bomb out. He just about went out with it. They had bombs in these jets just in case they needed them. But the atomic part of the bomb was disengaged or disarmed because uh, we were out of wartime. So uh, that's why the TNT is the only thing that went off in this. But let me tell you, that's still a bad mamma jamma when that TNT went off, uh, what it can do. The bomb is a model called the Mark VI. The nuclear reaction is ignited via conventional TNT explosives, and these detonate in the incident. The nuclear warhead, however, is stored separately during the whole flight in this container called the birdcage. The destructive power of the Mark VI exceeds that of the Nagasaki bomb. The Greggs were lucky, considering, but for them, the incident wasn't over. Years later, they were still finding radioactive bomb components on their property. My cousin found a rather large piece years ago, and he had somebody come out with a Geiger counter from the college over here that keeps a Geiger counter and check it, and the thing started clicking. And they, he called Daddy and said, uh, asked my father what to do. He said, I think I'd take that thing back in the woods or the swamp and chuck it or throw <laughs> it away. Instead of throwing the radioactive parts away, the Greggs donated them to the local Heritage Museum, where they're still on display today. The incident remains a mystery. It is an example of how casually the risks of this new technology are handled in the 50s. <laughs> 